Hey everybody, happy Earth Day! It's your Earth Day Springfield update. Uh, I thought I'd give you a, a rundown on what's been happening at the Capitol the last couple weeks on our agenda. Um, latest conventional wisdom has the General Assembly adjourning around May 9th, so we're here in the last, what might be the last three weeks uh, to get our agenda wrapped up. And it, it does need some wrapping up. We're, uh, we're getting to the point particularly, particularly on our energy package where we've got to uh, start to see some movement here, um, particularly on the solar ramp up and, and renewables pieces. We did finally uh, see negotiations begin in earnest today with our sponsors. Uh, this week we had some serious discussions about where the parties are. Um, the utilities, particularly Commonwealth Edison, has real concerns about um, particularly extending the current in-state preference for uh, buying wind energy and extending a similar benefit to Illinois solar. So that's something we really got to try to work through in the next 10 days if we're going to see something uh, happen that really maximizes not only the pollution reductions but the job creation from a jumpstart solar package. I think the solar ramp up uh, itself, starting to buy solar, um, looks like we're going to be able to get that done. So that's exciting. Uh, now we want to make sure that as much of that solar development happens here in Illinois as we can. Um, in terms of the vehicles, that's unclear for these bills. We're still going in terms of a basic message with co-sponsor our, our existing bills, uh, but it may be that this, this uh, ends up on a different package. But for the moment, um, asking folks, uh, both reps, uh, to, to sponsor House Bill 6013 and senators co-sponsor senate bill 3686 is probably the best thing that we can be doing in the districts um, the bpa ban uh, looks like it is headed for a vote by the full senate uh, next week we had a little bit of a delay here because we've got some undecided senators who wanted to see us have a substantive hearing and bring in some outside experts to debate the issue so we look for that to happen next week and hopefully a floor vote shortly thereafter um, some good news is on our fertilizer bill that has basically two stops left to go before the governor's desk. Uh, I've got here in just a second an interview with our Senate sponsor on that, Mike Nolan from Elgin. Um, and that bill cleared the Senate Agriculture Committee this week, so it's ready for a vote by the full Senate. And then after that, we just have to have the House concur with the amendment that we did this week, and uh, that'll be on Governor Quinn's desk. So, um, happy Earth Day. Enjoy uh, these few words from, from Senator Mike Nolan from Elgin, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. One of the problems we have is in some of the, some of the ponds and some of the uh, estuaries or some of the creeks that we have in my area, there's a lot of spill-off into these, uh, these waterways, and we end up with a lot of algae, algae blooms, which chokes off a lot of oxygen in these waterways, ends up killing fish, and uh, uh, really uh, makes it impossible for us to uh, really fully enjoy uh, some of our open spaces. I'll give you excuse me, <laughs> fly there. a good example is we have uh, Lord's Park in Elgin. Years ago, we used to be able to ice skate on Lord's Park, but now because of some of the spill-off from some of the neighborhoods, we have, uh, it never freezes over, the pond never freezes over. They actually used to uh, conduct some of the Olympic trials wow. at uh, Lords Park in Elgin. We can't do that anymore because of the high uh, chemical content, uh, namely, like I said, phosphorus in the water. So, Bill uh, 6099, so, excuse me, it's uh, House Bill 6099, has gone through the committee process here in the Senate. It's introduced as my bill. Uh, it passed uh, out of the Agriculture and uh, Conservation Committee unanimously. So it's an agreed bill. So we've had industry and we've had uh, environmental interests come together here and really come to a consensus. We were able to pass it out. Uh, like I say, it's now on second reading and you know, on the Senate floor. And that, what that means is that if we're going to listen to the reading of the bill probably one more time. I'm going to present the bill on the floor and it should be voted on. Again, since it passed out of committee unanimously, there seems to be bipartisan support. We should be able to pass it out of the Senate, I would say within a week or so, and uh, send it on to the governor for his signature.